Do you have your own business website or domain name from outside of Tutorbird? You can still take advantage of features in Tutorbird's website builder. In this video, we'll go over how to use the website builder with a custom domain, how to install our widgets to your own business website, and how to switch from a site built with Tutorbird to an external website. While in your Tutorbird account, click on Website Builder from the main menu on the left. If you purchased your own domain name but would still like to use our drag and drop builder, select I want to build a website during step one. In step two, you'll be given some options of a template to get started with. Don't worry, you can always change your template later on, as well as customize it to fit your business. In step three, you'll be asked to choose a domain. Here, you'll want to select the I have my own domain name option and add your already purchased website URL into the empty field. Please note that in order to use a custom domain on any website, you'll have to update the CNAME record, which is located with your domain provider. For more detailed explanation and examples of common domain providers, follow the link in the description. Finally, you'll be asked to choose the title of your website and add a header logo if you wish. Don't worry, you can change these later as well. Click Start Editing to enter the Website Builder. If you were previously using a Tutorbird domain for your website and want to switch to using a custom domain, you can do so by clicking on Settings and Files in the bottom left hand of the Website Builder and clicking on the pencil icon next to Domain and Hosting. Here, you can select I have my own domain name and enter your new domain in the field provided. If you have your own business website that you built outside of Tutorbird and would like to embed our contact form, login form, or sign up form, visit the website builder and select Use my existing site. From here, you can copy the widget code HTML snippet from the form that you'd like to use on your site, and you can paste that code into your existing site where you'd like the login form to appear. Alternatively, if you already have a Tutorbird website built or started, you can click on Settings and Files in the bottom left of the Website Builder, click on the pencil icon next to Domain and Hosting to edit this section, and click on the red button labeled Switch to External Site. This will give you a warning that your current Tutorbird website will no longer be live, however if you do change your mind later on, your website content will still be saved. This will bring you to the same widget code page where you can copy and paste the desired HTML snippet onto your existing website. For a more detailed explanation on how to install a widget on Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, or Google Sites, please visit one of the links in the description to get a step-by-step -step guide. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our amazing support team at support at or follow the links in the description for more information.